So today we continue from where we stopped. I think this should be tutorial 20, 21. Okay, 22. We are now going to set up the edit model. The easiest way to do this is to copy the edit, the add model form, and then change the name. That is a, the, a very easy way to do it. So let's go here and let's copy the add model. The add model starts from here and then um, ends somewhere here. I'm going to copy it. Uh, paste it here and I'm going to change the name to edit model edit model and I'm going to say edit students and the name uh, now is going to be a different name ID edit name edit department edit uh, updated on edit so that it doesn't have the same name as the one uh, asked for the ads model. Okay, let's see if there are some other things. So now we have instead of using example model label, we have edit model label here. Edit model label. Um, okay, so ID edit model that is fine. The action now is going to be update. Remember, so the endpoint for edit operation is update. And the method at this time is going to be put, right? Good. Uh, what are we forgetting? Uh -huh. That date is fine. Example model level, okay. So maybe we can just change it. Whatever. I think that this doesn't matter uh, really. So, um, edit, ID, edit, okay. Perfectly okay. We now need a button that is going to launch this form. So what we are going to do is to go to the table and we are going to add one additional row, additional column to this table. We are going to call it a base. Okay. And again, we are going to come down here and this time we are going to add a button as well. So we are going to copy this button. We're going to copy this button and put it in between here and data target this time is going to be a this model mm -hmm. uh, BTN BTN primary let's change the B, uh, BTN to BTN warning okay and the type is botting and I think uh, this is going to be a this okay so hopefully everything is okay so we've added a button on the table. So we click on this button, hopefully it's going to launch the edit model. So let's save and let's run this to see, to see what happens. Meanwhile, let's check where we are. So this is what we are doing now. Uh, we've set up this, changed the names of the test field. Um, the table, we added six button edit, then change the button set to edit model. Okay, so this you need to take note of, you need to change it to an anchor after now. All right, so let's come here and let's refresh this page. And now you can see that we have an edit button. So let's click on it. So you can see it displays an edit model and tells us edit student. But there is, it's very, it's empty. There is nothing displayed in there. So we need to find a way to grab the item that is a, a, to be edited and put it in this form and then complete it. That we are going to do in the next lesson. But before we, before I go to the next lesson, there is one step I need to take. This button, I'm going to actually uh, change it instead of a button, I'm going to change it to an anchor tag, an anchor tag, uh, data tag, a, maybe not necessary. And this time I'm going to give it a class, which we already have. Data toggle is model. Okay. Okay, so an anchor tag is what we want to use, not a button, uh, a button tag. So again, it will still work. Um, okay, let's just leave it that way. So I'm going to run this application. But now when I click, it's not going to show anything because we are actually going to use a script, a JavaScript code to launch the model form this time. So let's get back here. If I refresh the page, you can see the edit still shows up, but this time 
is an anchor tag, uh, so if nothing happens. So that is what we are going to manage in the next lesson.